All right, I got the underside of the running boards stripped down and undercoated. They turned out really well. They already had undercoating on them. And I just scuffed that up and had to put a, uh, touch up a little bit of uh, rust and then put this on. There's the other one. I'm gonna put another coat before I'm done. And here's the underside of the fender pan. I got the rust cleaned up. I am gonna put a little bit of rust converter primer on this before I undercoat it. All right, there's a yellow running board. The underside is undercoated. This side is three or four coats of caterpillar yellow. And there is the fender pan, seat pan, whatever you wanna call that thing. It turned out really well to be as pitted and rusty as it was. There's just a little bit. The main is down in there, which I didn't spend a lot of time on. But the tops of the fender is smooth. And on this side, there was really two bad places. And then there's the other running board. Got these ready to go. I haven't done anything to the back half of the frame yet. I've got to start sanding yet. I got the front put back together. And this steering gear, housing, whatever you call it, is different. The one that came off this tractor was a one piece. And I got it laying on the shelf right there. And it get, went in from underneath and two bolts went down and held it into place. Well, this one is a two piece and it fit on there everything was just perfect except these two pins that lined the two pieces up uh there was no hole in the frame for it so i bolted it together as you see here and i'm going to take a quarter inch the hole is a quarter inch i'm going to take a quarter inch drill bit and drill through the frame now it's bolted together and then drive those pins down i think that'll work just fine this part is ready to go on and what I'm holding on now, I did get one coat of the uh, semi-gloss black on the battery tray. I'd like to put one more. I ran out of paint and I've got to paint this. I have to go get some paint. And I think maybe later today or Monday, today's Saturday, uh, I'm gonna start sanding this down. On this decal, on the shifter, it's kind of chewed up. The rest of the decal is pretty decent, readable. So what I'm gonna do is put a straight edge on there and I'm gonna cut it across here and a straight edge and I don't know if I'm gonna do the top, I may just bring it up to here and the same on the other side and get my wife to cut some black vinyl and just lay right back down in there. Now on this side, some of the silver is missing and I'm not sure how that's gonna work out but we'll make something work for it. All right, the thing about doing restorations like this is you find stuff that you didn't know and you gotta fix them. That's a good thing, I guess. You can take care of any problems. And this, when I pulled the pedal off for the clutch brake, that thing is eat up with rust. And like my other one is pretty grooved right there where it rides in there and I think they all do that and so what I did is went out to my little parts bin to the parts tractor I took apart and I had this one and it's in really good shape it's got a little rust pitting there and the only thing is it doesn't have these holes let me get my camera with me there's two holes there where that type of clutch pedal screws in so my option is to either use just a, a round slip-on pedal, the rubber part, or try to drill into this. But this is better option than the other, and there is no groove down here. So I think what I'm gonna do is switch this out. It's just a matter of driving these pins out and putting it all back. All right, I got the frame sanded down and primed and i gotta i'm gonna come back and lightly sand it before i paint it i painted in here back so far 
And like I said from the beginning, this was not going to be a complete restoration, nor was it my intention to make it a show tractor. This frame had a lot of pitting like the other did under the dash here, but this will not be seen. So I just cleaned it out real good with a uh, grinding wheel and put some rust uh, reformer primer on it. Let me explain what I've done back here. I was going to pull these tires off and take it all the way back. But the paint back there is in really good shape. And what you see there is a undercoating. And so I'd stopped just past where the running board bolts up. And my intention is after I get this tractor back together, I'll take the wheels off. I'm going to put my ag tires on. And I'll clean the, the dirt and the grime up and I'll re-undercoat that part. That paint that's under that undercoating is in better shape than this paint I'm spraying on. It was probably baked on. So I'm going to leave it. It's not going to be seen, and like I said, I'll just re-undercoat that, and that'll protect it good. So as soon as this primer sets up a little bit, I'm going to uh, lightly sand it and then put the yellow on. And what I did was cut my decal, the black border, along the sides and the top. And I, I mentioned in the other video, my wife's got a cricket, and I'm going to get her to cut me some black vinyl, and I'll put it back in there. Uh, on top of that and, and outline it. That'll look as good as it can look. Again, this ain't a show tractor. So, next step is sometime after lunch, I'm probably going to put some yellow on And there is a yellow tractor frame. Turned out okay. I got some runs. Nothing bad. The worst of it was inside on that over there. I don't know what happened. I'll just take the blame for it, I guess. This is a different uh, brand of paint. Before I used the Tractor Supply brand of, uh, of the uh, Caterpillar Yellow. And this is Krylon, I believe. It's a little bit more expensive, but I think I like it better. But I have a Yellow Tractor again. I'm happy with it. It looks a lot better than it did anyway. And let's go inside a minute. There's the battery tray. Painted it uh, semi-gloss black, like I'll paint the grill in the dash. And I changed my mind on the firewall. I was going to paint it semi-gloss, but I decided to go with yellow. There's the shaft uh, for the clutch and brake pedal. As I said before, it's in a lot better shape, so I'll use it. And it won't be long, I guess, to let this paint uh, cure, and I'll start reassembly.